Good morning. Welcome to TWEC Morning Devotion. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This morning I'd like to take the time to speak on the topic Seeking Wisdom. And reading from the book of Proverbs, chapter 4 and verse 7, it reads, Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. This morning, before I proceed, I'd like to acknowledge Chris T. Green. Praise the Lord. Thomas Kempis once said, He is truly wise who looks upon all earthly things as folly, that he may gain Christ. Praise God. Hallelujah. Brethren, wisdom is a rare product in our world. We have plenty of intelligent people, even geniuses, but few are really wise. And sad, sad to say, our culture hardly recognizes the difference. We value status, fame, wealth, and good reputation, companionship, and achievement, which are all not bad in themselves. But none of them satisfy unless handled with wisdom. We should seek true understanding first and foremost, otherwise all the rest becomes mere idols. Wisdom is having the right knowledge of the world and our role in it. It knows who God is. It knows who we are and it sees the relative importance of all things. It correctly prioritizes and major in truth and character before superficial pleasures. It is the only way that I know of to be truly satisfied. History is littered with all kinds of persons who seemingly had it all. But in the end, they had nothing. They did not know God and built their lives on superficiality. Many are the stories of persons on their deathbed wishing they could do it all over again. They are often envied by everyone but themselves because they know the emptiness and lies of worldly fulfillment. They became aware that everything they thought would satisfy eventually failed. Are you satisfied with your life? Do you think that the next accomplishment, that next salary increase, or that promotion or dream job, maybe that next relationship, or the next whatever it may be, will finally make you content? Friend, it won't. Stop where you are and seek wisdom above all else. Make it your main priority to learn who God is, what He is like, how He relates to us, and what He is doing in this world. Then invest your entire life in what you have learned. Even if it costs all that you have, it is well worth it. Only a life based on this kind of understanding will satisfy. Only godly wisdom can make everything else meaningful. So I encourage you today, if you want to be satisfied, you need to seek godly wisdom. So God bless and have a great day. Praise the Lord.